I'm going to uh, start and end the start of the day with gratitude and words cannot describe the experience I've had here. So I just want to first state and say thank you. And I'll end with thank you. But my thought of the day is about storytelling. And to be honest with you, I've had this thought since day one since I walked through those doors and sat in the back and Father Greg introduced me. And what inspired this thought is I love art, and my favorite type of art is portraiture. And I couldn't help but fixate on these portraits every morning, a morning meeting, and to have, when I'm guessing these tattoos on the heart, imposed on the faces on, uh, on these portraits. And I thought about it every day at morning meeting since August uh, to this moment about what that means. What does it mean to tell your story? Now, for some of us, our stories are literally written on our faces. But I can imagine that for some of us here, we didn't get to write the beginning of our stories. And I could imagine that those first chapters could be very difficult, where people write and dismiss our stories by using adjectives that have defined us for maybe a while. Abandoned, loser, felon, addict. And we've believed those chapters for a long time. And we believe that that is basically the thesis of our story. But then something happens where we meet someone, a case manager, a tutor, a friend, a Jesuit, who sits us down and says, I know this is going to be hard, but I'm going to help you use other words to tell your story. And it's going to be difficult, and we're going to struggle a little bit, but we're going to work together, and we're going to write these other chapters. Then finally, something else happens. We get a job. We're off parole. We get custody of our kids. We're clean. And that person tells us, takes a pen, and hands it to you, and says, here, finish the story. And you may say, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. I don't know what to say. But I'm going to invite all of you to take the pen and finish the story and fill it with truth of the joys and the struggles because I can tell you right now that when you take the pen and you write and fill the pages it's going to be worth writing it's going to be worth reading and it's just going to be worth it because whether you believe it or not, all of you here have helped me write an amazing chapter in my life. You have helped me write stories full of authenticity, compassion, mercy, and tenderness that are beyond words. And I take those stories as I complete this chapter and move on to graduate school in Toronto. But you need to know that I will continue to read those stories and be inspired by them and learn from them and be reminded of a place where kinship is possible. And so I end this way, Homeboy Industries, God bless you, I love you, and thank you.